Now, some people like to treat themselves like a Starbucks Frappuccino. If you go to Starbucks every day and get a Frappuccino, it's not <laughs> oh, a bankroll Frappuccino. <laughs> there you go. It's not specialty anymore, but if you go... This is a Starbucks Venti Java Chip Frappuccino with whipped cream that cost me $7.02 from their Times Square location that sure to upset Sue Zorman who'd say I'm pissing away a million dollars and Graham Stephan will be yelling that I should have followed his 20 cent iced coffee recipe if I had just invested at $7.02 for 30 years at an 8% return, I'd have $70.64. But here's why I'm ignoring millionaires' advice to make coffees at home, and I guess rant about the current mindset of the FIRE movement. FIRE stands for Financial Independence Retire Early, and is basically a combination of extreme cheapskate and extreme couponing where you try to save and invest your way into retirement as quickly as possible which means saving every penny is paramount, causing people to drive five miles to save 10 cents on gas, ordering water at the bar, or staying home instead of hanging out with friends. And I want to be clear, I'm not saying don't save money, I'm just annoyed at the save everything always and don't ever live your life nonsense financial advisors and not financial advice YouTubers are peddling nowadays. Just like Gary Vaynerchuk yelling hustle every day, if you're not hustling you're wasting your life, is completely nonsense, so is this insanity that buying Starbucks is going to keep you poor. Like I don't make coffees at home because 1. I don't drink coffee every day and 2. Sometimes I just want an insanely sweet diabetes inducing milkshake with a shot of espresso. And 3. This venti java chia frappuccino with whipped cream actually cost me $0 because I'm paying it off with my credit card cashbacks and I'm also getting 3% back on this Starbucks purchase as well. Sorry Dave Ramsey. In addition, I still spend money on dumb things that'll cost strokes in the fire community. This video outlines all my spendings for 2021, and last year I spent $3,716.41 eating out and another $536.28 on these Gundam model kits. Now the fire community, they'll say stuff like, wow, instead of wasting money on eating out and toys, you should have invested that $4,252.69 because at an 8% return for 30 years, you would have $42,793.36. And yeah, that's true, but I'm willing to sacrifice that so I can order takeouts for dinner and relax with my wife and kid. And I want to spend money today to buy these Gundam kits and Legos that my parents couldn't afford to buy me growing up. Besides, I'm perfectly happy ordering this expensive coffee flavored milkshake because whenever I get paid, I always pay myself first by investing for the future. So no, I don't feel bad that I wasted $37,694.02 last year. What I feel bad for are people like Ronald Reed over here. For those of you who don't know, Ronald was a janitor who despite his low income, grew his stock portfolio into $8 million that was donated upon his debt. Of course, what he did was amazing and Ronald is a shining example of long-term investing and what it can accomplish. But do any of you really want to live like Ronald? I mean, he looked for tree branches on the ground to keep himself warm. He wore old clothes and used a safety pin to keep his jacket together. Or if we translate this to 2022 verbiage, Ronald didn't turn on the AC during summer or the heat during winter. He never bought clothes he wanted and instead he dressed like a Brooklyn hipster. And yeah, maybe Ronald he really didn't care about material things and his life mission was to donate everything he had. Or maybe, just maybe, he grew up during the Great Depression and he saw his parents struggle to make ends meet and was so traumatized of what the lack of money can mean that he couldn't bring himself to spend any of his millions he made in the stock market. Totally speculation of course, but don't be like Ronald. I mean, make sure you invest for your financial future so you can do whatever you want, but don't focus on the future so much that you forget to enjoy today. Because as morbid as it sounds, any one of us can walk outside tomorrow and get hit by a bus. So yeah, just like Obi-Wan Kenobi said in this Expedia ad, go on that vacation that you've been dreaming about because if you really think about it, life's not about dying with millions or billion dollars in the bank account. But yeah, that's pretty much my rant. Go ahead and dislike if you want, but make sure to subscribe before you do. And with all that said, I'll catch you guys all next time with more financial shenanigans.